Hi, this is Al Williams. This is a video of my printer bot printing out its third complete object. This is actually a filament guide that uh, snaps on top of one of the smooth rods from Thingiverse. And this is actually the printer bot plus, which is the eight inch by eight inch build volume. I, I didn't really understand a lot of what I was seeing on pictures until I actually got this and built it. So I thought I'd take a second and kind of describe what the device is and what all the parts do and how it's all fit together, which I didn't really get until I actually put this thing together. You can see that there's a bed that's moving back and forth in the Y direction, and there's actually a belt underneath that connects to a stepper motor that's back in this area, and that stepper motor is what's moving the bed backwards and forwards. Now you can see these stepper motors at the ends right here and right here that go through these square couplers. That's the Z-axis motors, and they're turning those threaded rods. There's actually just two regular nuts on those threaded rods, and they lift and drop the carriage, which is this piece all across here. And they're also riding on these smooth rods for support. And that's what keeps them straight, and I don't think it actually supports their weight, but it keeps them straight. Now you can see it's actually bridging over that gap there now. I think I interrupt a little bit to show the bridge. So that's pretty impressive that it can actually draw a piece of ABS in the air like that. I expect you couldn't go too far before it would start to droop, especially with no fan cooling. But you can see it did a pretty good job of making a solid surface over that hole. Anyway, back to the device. Um, so again, there's a motor right under the bed here that's moving the bed on a belt and the screws are moving the piece up and down. Now what you can see is there's a motor around on this side that's actually moving a belt and you can see the belt there. That's what's moving the print head right and left or the x-axis. And that motor is actually what's driving the filament through the extruder. You notice the frame is birch plywood, and when you get it in a kit, it's like in three or four sheets, and the laser cuts are made in it, and you just punch them out like you would, say, a die-cast model kit made out of plastic. And if you're lucky, they punch out pretty well. Uh, if you're not lucky, you have to get an X-Acto knife and help it out where the laser didn't go all the way through the wood. The extruder is pretty interesting. If you notice, there is a bolt turning that with that ge that big gear over on the other side, that's a hobbed bolt. It's a bolt with a uh, gear cut into it, gear teeth cut into it. And there's a wheel in there, it's the idler wheel, that's pushed in by these springs and that wooden wing looking contraption there. So between the idler wheel and the hobbed bolt, the filament's being pulled down by the uh, motion of that gear. And in fact, that small gear is driven by the motor and that moves the big gear. These are the actual herringbone gears that were sent to me by PrinterBot. Uh, apparently they're uh, fairly insensitive to misalignment because of the herringbone design. And since they're printed parts, they were actually printed on another printer, presumably just like this one, uh, the tolerances are not as good. But a lot of people print spur gears, and that's something I'm probably going to do as well. The whole thing is powered by a standard PC power supply. Uh, you can see there's rods under the the belt or under the bed there that the uh, belt is moving it back and forth on, and those things that look kind of like sockets, those are linear bearings. So you can see there's some under the bed there, and there are on the wood, and then there's also some on that straight rod there. So as they move, the ball bearings allow that to move freely. Uh, the piece with the red tape there is the hot end, and so that's actually what's melting the plastic and pushing it out of a really, really tiny hole, a 0.5 millimeter hole. And you can see the heated bed. There's actually a bed of plywood, and there's a printed circuit board heater. That's the red thing. A sheet of ordinary glass that's held on with high-tech binder clips. And uh, that is actually being heated up by that printed circuit board heater. So this is 3 millimeter ABS filament. 
Uh, this particular print job, I'm running at a 0.4 millimeter uh, slice because I didn't want it to take very long to cut out, or to print rather, but that does mean you can kind of see the layers on it. I haven't done any finer prints, but usually they look better if they've got a finer layer, at least from videos I've seen. And let's see, my extruder temperature right now is about 230 degrees centigrade, and the bed temperature is set to 70 degrees centigrade, but because the monitoring is not all that clear, uh, I've measured it with my own thermometers, and it's about 100 degrees centigrade. And as you can see, no problem sticking to the bed. A lot of people talk about problems with uh, the plastic sticking to the bed, and there's different ways they do that, Kapton tape, things like that. I've sprayed the bed with Aquanet hairspray, and that seems to do a great job. I've not had any trouble at all with the plastic sticking, and once it's cool, this part will just pop right off with no difficulty whatsoever. So there you have it. That's the Printer Bot Plus. It's an 8 inch by 8 inch by 8 inch build volume, more or less. Uh, printing its third piece.